Yo guys, what's going on? We are back for another van build video. Today, or for me like the next week or so, is going to be doing my ceiling. <music> For my ceiling, I want to have like a nice wood paneled look. And the steps that I'm going to have to do are I'm going to insulate. I have to do wooden braces that go along this. So when I put my panels up, I can screw into wood um, instead of the metal. Then I guess I'm going to stain the ceiling too. I want it to be white wood. So far, the one step that I did was the other day I cut part of the soft covering on my ceiling to just make this living area look bigger. Flashback. We have now done the first test cut to see if the knife will go through. So now it means there's no turning back, no changing my mind on this. Now that we've cut that chunk out, I was so nervous to do this. All right, here we go. So nerve wracking. There we go. Now I've got this much more of ceiling space. Well, that's out and done. And now my wood ceiling panels can extend all the way to there. End of flashback. So I've already bought a few of the things that I'm going to need. I have this, actually, that's for my walls, that's not even for my ceiling. Uh, for my ceiling, I have these one by two birch pieces. And so this one I've already cut to be the proper width and it's gonna fit up here. However, the problem, if you can see this, is that my ceiling is curved. It's hitting the top on the ends, but the middle, it is not. I tried to do this the other day, measuring out what the curve has to be on here, but then I realized I couldn't cut it because this is too narrow for my jigsaw to fit on, and I was stuck, didn't know what to do, used a regular handsaw to just take off this corner, but I ended up talking to a friend and got the idea to put other pieces of wood next to it that are the same height so that I can run my jigsaw over. And I'm going to try that right now and hopefully it works because if it doesn't, I have no idea what I'm going to do. All right. So I just cut some pieces that will go next to this. Uh, they're a little bit too short to go on either side. If I stack them together, they're a little closer. We'll see if this works. I'm going to give it like two out of 10 possibility that it will work. Nope, 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 not working. Crap. Nope, when all else fails, make yourself a frozen margarita and sit in the grass, contemplate how you got so far in over your head on a project. I don't know what I'm doing. I need some professional help. Hopefully I'll figure something out. All right guys, I've reached a potential solution. This is my 48 inch long thing that I was trying to shape. You can see where I almost got my jigsaw to start cutting. I'm gonna take this and instead of just shaping it into one smooth shape that will fit along my metal brace, I am gonna cut this into three sections. The bigger section in the middle because that's where my ceiling is relatively flat and then two shorter sections on the side. And I'm just gonna screw them in individually because I can't think of any other solution that's not gonna be like incredibly time consuming. So just gonna do this into multiple pieces. Hopefully it works out. All right, let's go see if these are somehow going to work on my van ceiling. This is off to a promising start. They fit in well. They just stick out a little bit farther below the ribs than I need them to. And with how small my van is, literally every centimeter counts. So I wanna get them to fit just a little bit higher up in my roof. And to do that, I am just going to use this 80 grit sandpaper, throw it onto my orbital sander and just take a couple centimeters off. Way less work than actually like 
totally shaping it. It might be coming together. I might have figured something out. Okay, so I'm not quite sure where I left off filming last, but what I managed to finish the other day was the support beam things that my ceiling is gonna screw into. So we have all of those in place. And what actually took more work than expected were these ones that are next to the light here. Because if you can see, the side is not straight. So we kind of had to get creative with how to uh, make it so that the bottom would be flat for my ceiling to go on. So now that all the supports are in, the uh, project for today is to cut more pieces of this Reflectix to fit into each of these panels, and then we'll glue that in. And then once that's done, all I have to do is do my polyurethane coat on my ceiling panels and then screw them in. all in you can see I like got it pretty close to the edges like you know there's this little tiny gap here but the sides are pretty flush there's like kind of a hole there but since I have my roof sun deck above this that's also an added layer of insulation where when it snows the snow is gonna be sitting on the deck and not on my ceiling anyways so I think I'm gonna skip the great stuff gap and crack filler for now and then if it gets cold I'll pull the wood paneling off and add it at a later time but for now I'm just gonna get my panels ready and then put those up okay so now I am in the process of doing my poly coats on what are gonna be my ceiling wood panels and I'm gonna be honest I'm going a little bit rogue right now so <laughs> Originally, my interior design plan for the van was going to be like this beach cottagey kind of theme. I had this uh, tropical blue leaves wallpaper picked out and the furniture's all white. And then the ceiling panels, I was going to whitewash and just have it like a very airy beach peaceful thing. And then last night I was on one and was like, you know what? No, I need to make the inside funky. I wanted to like reflect my style and be like a cool, like hangout. So I made this new design that has like cheetah print and a checkerboard and like these big blue palm trees. I also have like this iridescent opal countertop. I just went totally crazy with it. And so I decided that these wood panels were a little bit too plain. So I took this iridescent opal glitter and I just started kind of like dusting these. And then I also took this spray paint. I'll show you the process that I'm doing. I could be messing this up, but who knows? It's gonna end up being funky and fun, I think. But yeah, let me show you what I'm doing. First things first, I do a single coat of this ultimate poly, uh, semi gloss and I'm just taking this and now while this first coat of poly is wet I'm taking my glitter and I'm just dipping in my finger just to get a little bit on here and now the thing is that with this lighting I can't really see where it's landing so I'm just trying to very just very gently dust over this. All right, so now that this is mostly dry, I'm just gonna throw a uh, second coat of it on here. And now I'm just gonna let this fully dry for a while before I do my next layers. Now this is dry, so I'm gonna take this glitter sparkle spray and just spray her down. I don't know if you can see that, but just like little drips. Spray a little more here. Now I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and throw on another coat or two of poly. 
All right, my coated wood has finished drying and now today's the day that I am hopefully going to finish attaching my whole wood paneled ceiling. I'm super nervous to do this step because it means like making holes and it's kind of like, I guess not a permanent thing. I guess I can still change it, but there's, there's something real about actually drilling holes into wood that if I mess up, I'm gonna have to get new wood and uh, I don't know why I have anxiety, but being afraid to fail is a terrible reason to not get started at all. So I'm just gonna have to do this and hopefully it works out. I've got my little workstation right here, terrible workstation, but I am going to pre-drill just a little bit so that I can sink my screws. And I'm going to be using these little tiny baby screws right here. I found them in a bag and they kind of had this gold color, which I thought was cool. But then in the wood, it didn't look as gold. I actually prefer these ones, but I was having trouble in my little test piece for it. I couldn't really get this all the way sunk in. So I'm just gonna have to use the less shiny ones that I don't really like. And maybe I'll throw some glitter on there or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna start making holes and hopefully I don't mess everything up. to tell and it's straight. How am I going to do this? This is so awkward. It might be straight, I can't tell. All right, so I have officially run out of wood. I mean, except for two more pieces that don't seem like they're straight. So whether I use them or not, I'm still gonna need to open up another pack. So I'm gonna do that and just hold off on these ones that are bent um, because there might be straighter ones in there. But I got this much of the ceiling done and I think it looks pretty good. All that's left to do now is just to stain more wood and then I'm gonna put it on and I will be back to show you guys the finished ceiling result. Woo! All right, see you very soon. Three weeks later. Oh, boom. And here we go. The finished ceiling. I have to disclaimer, it's like 95% finished ceiling, but here it is. Whoa. Oh my God. So along here, I am going to be tucking in my curtain. That's going to be my light curtain that goes from the top all the way along the edges. What I didn't show you guys in building was I used a circle saw. I think that's what it's called to make these holes. And then I had to kind of file them out because they were just a little bit too small for my lights. And then these lights, the back just has adhesive on it and they are battery operated lights, so I will have to change them, but for me that was easier than wiring electricity to them. So they just touch off and on. And then I also have a little remote here that I will show you more when it gets dark. Also, I had to put the casing thing around this, and so that has a nice finished look now. So what's not quite finished is like just along the edges here didn't bring it all the way out to the sides because I still need to do my walls and I kind of want to put like the walls up and then figure out how I'm going to close these little annoying like one inch gaps. But yeah, that is my ceiling and I am going to wait till it gets dark and I will show you the lights in action. Later that same evening. All right, so now that it's gotten darker, I can properly show you these lights. I'm really proud. I got them almost completely recessed into the ceiling. You can see they're not really sticking out by much. Just enough for me to grab onto when they need to uh, get a battery change. And you can see they are really quite bright. So I'll show you if I turn the lights off, besides the skylight that's still kind of sunset, but look, it's pretty dark in here. And then I turn the lights on, boom, full light. And also, these lights have this really cool switch, so I can put it on fade, which is my favorite, where it fades through an entire rainbow. And then I can set them to whatever color I want within the rainbow. Uh, so yeah, these are really cool lights. I can also adjust the uh, brightness and dimness, and I can turn them on, you know, one by one. So if it's night, and I just want to read a book, 
I can just have the one that's right by where I'm going to be laying and I can put it down to 50% so it's not as bright. I can even put it lower and I can change it to red, which is actually kind of better for nighttime. So yeah, I have a lot of options with these lights and I'm linking to them in the description so that you can get these lights too because I love them. And yeah, that is it for my ceiling as of right now. You know, I still have a little bit more work to do on it, but it's pretty much done. The glitter that I put in there, you can't really see it all. So I might add some more glitter down the line. But yeah, that is my ceiling. If you enjoy this fan build, make sure you hit subscribe, join the channel, and then see what is next up. I'm currently working on the walls. I'm not going to do a video for that because it's just going to be kind of boring. But I will have another video of, uh, you know, eventually putting my furniture in and stuff like that. So stay tuned and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Do what makes you happy. If other people think it's lame or they make fun of it, if it makes you happy, do it. Follow whatever it is that makes your heart race and lights a fire in your soul.